I am Stuart and welcome to Sonic Television. I'm going to be heading over to the gang at Starcock because they're going to be building a CSI Ram 1500 for a customer here in the Pacific Northwest. Chris will be giving a chat just now uh, about the whole vehicle and the layout, so we'll be joining him as well over at Starcock. But maybe I'll get a chance to go to CSI Miami someday. Maybe you can come along too. But in the interim, let's go to Starcock. So Travis, what we got going on here right now? Uh, just putting all the wiring through the firewall and attaching it to everywhere it needs to go. Is that pretty straightforward on this ram or? Yeah. Easy to get through? Yeah, nice location to go through. So Austin, you're doing a quick lighting test in the dark. Yeah, I want to make sure that what we have in the vehicle currently is enough to illuminate the inside. Uh, see if we need to get any more lighting or if this will work just fine. Thank you, Stuart, for the installation footage. I love seeing the process that the truck's gone through and getting to look over the guy's shoulder and see how everything is done exactly. So the truck itself, the 2018 Ram 1500, now ready for action, and it's gonna be used for CSI as well as search and rescue. The lighting package is simple, but the scene lighting, powerful. And the guys here, an amazing job they've done again with putting it all together. On the rear view mirrors, we have the Whelan V-Series with the wedges, so everything sits just right. The puddle light's a nice little feature for some nighttime enhancement and safe stepping out onto the ground. Up in the top, rather than doing a full interior bar, just didn't think that was gonna be needed for this truck and how it's gonna be operating. So a set of this Spitfire Ions with a shroud enhancement so we don't have any light bleeding back onto the interior synchronization that wires hidden inside so that's how we get the nice clean wigwag effect of the red and blue back and forth on the front of the truck set of ions split colors again nice synchronization job by the guys here at star car so it's fun when they get to put those little touches in wigwags in the high beam so that's one of the sound off signal iso flashers just right for the dodge side and for scene lighting provisions on the front a set of the whelan nano sixes so with the spot lens or interchangeable flood powerful led lighting to the front of the truck we have tied in as well hidden behind the grill a 100 watt speaker for the siren provision the V-Series under the rear view mirrors stretch their lighting back to the surface mount ion on the canopy. Up above, the operator has selectability between flood lighting and the wheel and perimeter enhancement light, or making things yet even more powerful, stretching the light that much further when it comes to the dual Slimline Pioneer. They're on their own switches, so selectability between them, all done on the controller, driver's side, passenger independently. On the rear of the truck, the lighting package is done with vertexes and a very nicely arranged X pattern, reds in the red portion, blues in the reverse, surface mount ions and a nice synchronization between the red and blue split, and the dual panel with the flood lens selectable for a vast amount of rear scene lighting. In the back of the truck, the guys have also worked some magic. 
cargo bed. Nice provision to get to all your goodies easily. But better yet, when you need to see all of your equipment, the three inch wheel in does an amazing job. On the inside is a Gamber Johnson wide body console. Mounting of a slide arm for the docking station yet to come. Motorola radio and its faceplate. Sound off signal switch box for the lighting package and all of the varied scene lighting that we have. Whelan and their Epsilon taking care of a 100 watt siren. Cup holders, speaker, and perfect little cubby for sunglasses. Here's a look at the brilliant shrouds that Starcar has constructed for the Spitfire Ions. Flashback reduced, edges finished off with rubber so you don't have any metal on glass chatter, and mounted right up to the headliner on the visor bracket. The Ram 1500, through the hands of Star Cars, finely tuned it is and ready for action. I'm Chris, thanks for joining us on this episode of Siren Net Television, and so you can continue to watch and stay up to date, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.